today, today we're about to head out to the Farallon Islands. And I'm with Steve right here. Stilo, aka Deadliest Cast on YouTube. Check him out, man. He's got some super informative videos, fishing videos. So we're gonna hit the islands. Hopefully get on some real nice rockfish. Hopefully some sure. big ling cod. I've heard good things. I've never been, but I've heard great things about the first, islands. Yeah. We got a lot of jigs, a lot of swim baits, and some mystery little swim baits too, and jigs that uh, you guys know like to catch yeah. on. Yeah, we got, call strange offerings. So he's got something up his sleeve. So I'm gonna show you guys that these things will bite anything. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get out there and have some fun. And in the back over here, we got Jason. This is his boat right here. So about to head out. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Like glass. Yes. Let's go, baby. Made it out to the islands right behind me, right over here. Super thick fog, can't even see the island right now. But it's about 30 miles west of Golden Gate Bridge. You ready, Jace? Always. Always. He's always ready. All right. Steve, you ready? You know it. All right, baby. It's like a, it's like a rainbow right here. All the way right there. Gonna be some big fish right there. Right under it. Pot of gold. Oh, that's a fat one. Okay, I haven't even dropped yet. Yeah, I'm still setting up here. I know, me and Celia are just still setting up. So I'm gonna start off with an eight inch Christmas colored swim bait on an eight ounce jig head since we're fishing in about 200 feet of water. Nice. With the wrench. With the wrench, Stilo's hooked up. On a crescent wrench. Stilo's got a nice canary on there on the crescent wrench. Let's see it on the wrench, dude. Harbor Freight Crescent Wrench. Cost him like a dollar if you change. <laughs> a nice canary. Can we do it? There it is. There we go. Can I? Yep. No. Oh. Yeah. On the drop. Oh, this thing's got some weight. This thing's got some weight. Good job. <laughs> hey, you said good job. Thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. You're popular out here, too. <laughs> Decent rockfish or something? Uh, that's a jelly. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> uh, right there is another red. Nice. Canary. Oh, no. No, is that? But, um... <laughs> Let me see. Yes, it has to have yellow. Not bad. Pretty, pretty nice rock. Stilo just got on a nice sling right there. There you go. Check it out, guys. Number two. Pretty nice. On the, what I just named the swim bait, the Apollo Creed color, because it's living in America. I don't know what it's called, but it kind of looks like it. Look at that. Hell yeah. Beautiful. It's good fish. We're hooked up right now. We're hooked up right now. My GoPros, both of them, are not working. Don't know why, but on a decent, on a pr nice swim bait, and I see it, it's a wing right here. Come up here, baby. Barely hooked, but here we go, baby. Good job. That's a, that's a decent wing right here on that Christmas colored, Christmas tree swim bait. It's a decent wing. It's not a bad keeper for sure. There you go. I want this guy real fast. Oh! I got them on the way up. On the way up. I don't think you're to me. Yeah, something followed it then. It's going fast too. Nice. <laughs> nice verm right here, man. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. There it is. Oh no! Come on, man. Yeah, you got the eight out. Come back for me. There it is. Nice. nice. Rockfish, though. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's fighting. 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 Oh, he's figh
Okay, maybe not a rock. Uh, I don't know. Berms kind of fight pretty hard too. Oh, all right. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna come this boat and we'll call cherry popper. I just keep on scraping or something at first. I have my dog there. Oh, this one's got some weight. I don't know if you need a gap. Yeah. It is a workout though, being at 200 feet, you know? I know, you're going up. Hey, can I Probably. Not that early run and it hasn't run yet. Oh, there it is. After I said that, I'm just trying to. Oh, what is that? Color. Dropper. Uh, uh. Inhaled it. Inhaled that guy. Oh, hi. Look at that. It's not, it's not bad. It looks like a keeper. Oh, yeah, definitely keeper. Not a bad ling. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. That's two for you. Yep. We need two more. This is what that link odd spit up. I'm about to put this on the oh, hook. Yeah. I'm thinking two. These things are two. Yeah. Better get it before I get down there. I'm just gonna want that octopus. Look at that mola mola swimming right there. What's up, dude? Come on. There it is. Double hookup. <laughs> oh, oh, got doubles? Yes, sir. Oh, you it's a double a... trouble? Oh, it's a good one. It's a double, bro. That's what we call that. Oh, that's got some weight, though. <laughs> double hookup. Oh, did it spit it? No, it spit it. No. It spit it. Oh, I gotta check this, though. I gotta check to see if that octopus is still there. Oh, I took the octopus. Alright, well. There's a mola mola. I know, they're just straight checking us out here. I don't know, any closer. I got 45 out. Look at that. That's, that's, a, that's oh, a nice thing. We're limit on the link. Let me see the gaff. Alright, here. Oh, there's one of your hooks right there. So basically all the lings that we catch now are it's gonna be catching at least so weird. Are you also getting like wait to me upload to get that one because you're just like oh, oh come on. <laughs> nah, probably not. It feels like a rockfish, a good one though. Oh it's got it's got some weight. Probably another ling. Yeah, it's another ling. Mm -hmm. We're at, we're limited, right? Yeah, we're limited out. Not bad. Nice, nice ling. Just pop that out later. Ooh, straight down. There we go. I might switch up this swim bait, man. I don't want any more lings. I've just been getting lings on this swim bait. It's crazy, huh? Right, here we go. Going with the shrimp fly on the bottom. This is an integrated six ounce weight octopus jig. Rockfish, yeah, baby. What did you put on? Uh, shrimp fly, and then on the bottom I have this integrated squid jig. Oh, what? Oh, this is a nice fighting rockfish, though. A lot of head shakes. It's a blue. It's a pretty fat blue. Uh, that's a f blue. Blue rockfish right here. There it is. Yeah, I got that. That was a landlocked one. Yeah. There you go, dude. That's uh, another nice blue. Yeah. Probably all these, a school of blues, man. Here I'm going to reel up a few cranks and look at why my GoPro chest cam isn't working. I have this issue where if I plug it into an external battery, no matter if the original battery is in or not, it stops recording and it doesn't like recording and it turns off. I 
There it is. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a nice rockfish. That's a nice rockfish. Yeah, hopefully it's a vermilion. Oh, oh, oh. Might be a ling. Might be a ling. <laughs> Feel like it's a firm. Oh, 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 whoa! Yeah, I know, right? My hype man in the back right there. <laughs> Wonder what it bit on. Well, we limit out on lanes. We're getting close to rockfish. That's a berm. Nice. Oh, double duck. That's a verm and a and a ling. That's a verm and a ling. No wonder. It's fine real good. It's a nice verm and a nice ling. Actually, it's a better nice verm. Might need a. If you go come this way, you might even get. Double up, baby. Look at this. Nice. Look at this nice berm. And a and a fatty ling. We gotta let this ling go though. This ling is barely hooked, but man, this one's probably like a I don't know, 20, 25 maybe. It's fat. This verm though. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> out here. Probably. And after catching a few more rockfish, we call it a day soon after and ride over an hour back to land. And now we're gonna make some fish and chips. We're gonna fillet the ling cod, then fillet the vermilion, and basically all these rockfish and the other ling cod that we caught. I'm gonna take out the pin bones, but chop this up, dice it up into chunks, something that we could fry. We're gonna do the same with the vermilion, same with the other lingcod and rockfish that we caught. So here we have this beautiful black rockfish fillet. This is the vermilion fillet. And then this is the lingcod. And so we're gonna have some potatoes, some cornstarch, some flour, a little bit of baking powder, salt to your taste, black pepper, some sparkling water, dark beer here I'm using Guinness, and then some coconut oil that we're gonna be frying in. I set aside two tablespoons of flour for later, and then we're gonna mix in basically everything that we have. This is flour, cornstarch, Oh, that gave a little, little explosion there. A little bit of baking powder. Some sea salt to taste. Some black pepper. I love black pepper, so I'm gonna go a little heavier on this. Maybe a little more. All right. About a third of a cup of some beer. Third of a cup of beer. That much. I start whisking a little bit. That kind of looks like chocolate milk, doesn't it? Looks good. That beer is gonna give it sort of a malty, but a little bit of a sweet, slightly sweet flavor to it. Third of a cup of this sparkling water. And then we're actually gonna let this sit in the fridge for a little bit, for about half an hour. We have some russet potatoes here that we're gonna slice into fries. And we're actually gonna, I like to keep the skin on. And we're gonna boil them real fast. I like my potatoes thicker, I like them with the skin on, so that's what I'm doing. A lot of fries. And we're gonna boil them. These guys are going in to boiling water. About three minutes. Let's 
see how these look. Come on. Those look good to me. All right, so now I cut these fillets. These are now dried. I actually add a little bit of salt to them, but I cut them about the size of my hand. Yes, the black rockfish vermilion lingcod. And I'm gonna keep track of all of these. So we're gonna dip this into a little bit of that flour that we saved on the side. I wanna get all sides of it, dip them, and then I'm gonna dip them into this batter here that we made. Black rockfish. And I wonder which one, if any, if I could even taste the difference for any of these. We will see. All right, so I'm gonna put one in each filet in here. So this is the lingcod. First, I'm gonna put the lingcod in there. Okay. And then here is the vermilion. It's gonna be a fat rectangle piece. And then a smaller rectangle piece for the black rockfish. And there we have it, fish and chips. And on top here, we have lingcod, black rockfish, and vermilion. Oh, first things first, I am gonna go for a fry. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Exactly how I like my fries. I don't like them too crispy. They're kind of just right when you boil them and then you crisp them on the outside. I think that's perfect. Mmm. Mmm. I can eat so many of these fries. My weakness is potatoes, chips, and fries. And here we have fish and chips. Woo! All right, first, so oh, what do I want first? I'm gonna try the vermilion. This piece here, I'm gonna just take a bite out of it. Actually, let me, actually, let me rip off a little piece. Wow, that looks, that looks good. Yeah, this is that vermilion, nice, juicy, Still juicy, really flaky. Look how big the flakes are. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Wow. Mm. That is amazing. Wow, super tender, just fresh. Freshest fish you can get. Like it's not, it's just soft and the outside with that crispy texture, wow. Amazing. Mmm. Oh my goodness. All right, vermilion is really good. Mmm. Whenever I go to restaurants and I order fish and chips, I know they use some type of cod, but whether or not I could tell the difference between vermilion, raw cod, and lean cod, never tasted it all three at the same time. So I'm ready to do that. Let me just finish this vermilion. Mmm. Wow. And here's the black rockfish. See the first look. First look at the black rockfish. Same thing. Big white flakes. Still real juicy inside. First bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow, still really good. But I do feel like a little less flavor um, from this fish than the vermilion. Let's crack open this lingcod filet here. Oh, it looks a little different, doesn't it? Take a bite of this lingcod. Yeah, it does taste different. Like that black rock, rockfish was the most mild. That vermilion 
was exactly what I thought of when I wanted fish and chips. But the sling cod has a distinct taste too. It's up there with vermilion. I would say for fish and chips, the best is vermilion and ling cod. Big flaky pieces of meat of that white flaky fish this is exactly what you want for fish and chips. Man. This sling cod, that's the one. Fresh fish, fresh potatoes, fresh fish and chips. Ooh, that was fun. Mm.